Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So what else would I be doing on a Sunday afternoon? But editing a tutorial for you lot. So this one was a winged cut crease. Here I am using Spiked as always. Again, she's amazing brows, so I literally need to do nothing at all to them. Just filling out, just drawing through little hair strokes with my Spiked eyebrow pencil by MAC. This time I am going to try to put the products that I use as well underneath. Try. So we are just filling them in and fluffing through her brows. If someone has amazing brows, then you don't need to do anything to them, it's great. Make sure that you don't lean too heavy as well and you're spiked, just that you don't break it so you're very, very lightly filling those hairs. I always start with pencil. If you start with gel, you just can't remove it, especially, you know, if you're starting out and things. Whereas pencil, see there, like if I go up too high, I can just, right, just wipe it. My nails are so bad. One of these days you will see we miss unbelievable nails. I'm so bad. Again, yapping away, having a great time, filling in all the hairs. Now, do the brow, exact same. So I'm drawing a line underneath. You can see my little fat head hair. And I am filling through her own brow shape. Do you see what I mean with the pencil? Like if I went down a bit too far, you can just wipe it with your finger. I'm just lightly filling her own brows. So this is Spiked Eyebrow Pencil by MAC. Again, it's P. Louise recommended, of course. And ever since I used it, can't be without it. Remember to get the tin one as well. The students absolutely hate the thick one. Now I'm using Select NW15. NW15, if you want a really, really dramatic look, which is what you guys like, or NW20, if you want something a bit more subtle, which is what I like surprisingly. I am carving out her brows, 252 brush by MAC Air. This brush is life, cannot be without. See how slow I'm going as well, literally going into the shape of her brows and I'm putting a lot of select on. When you think you have enough, you don't, put more on. So again, carving out the brows, 252 by MAC. My sister actually has this at the hair show today and I will murder her if she doesn't bring it back to me. I'm patting it, so again, you pat till the consistency changes. So literally, pat, 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 until the consistency changes. I'm highlighting with nylon. First of all, a step you missed, of course you did. I put Melba on as a transition color um, with a 217 MAC brush. Next, I'm putting Sketch on. This is a blusher by MAC, so it's Sketch by MAC. I want this dark, like you're like, what the hell is going on here? Oh my God, there's no blend. I want it like this. Yeah, I know, I'm not pretending. I actually want it very dark, so I want it right in the background. And I'm blending it with my Melba, so the color before, and this is a Nima brush. Very bad with the name of the Nima ones, um, but it's a fluffy one, like your 6S and stuff will do, or your 217 Mac. So again, 221, loads and loads of sketch about four times with each color and pack it on. So see that harsh line? I'm gonna blend out all the edges of that and make it really, really soft. This is the background color for when I'm cutting my crease. I wanna see depth and darkness in the background. Now I am cutting the crease with my 242 MAC brush. This brush is amazing for this and I actually flip and ruined it. I tried to cut off the hairs on the top and I cut all the hairs off. So it's baldy, but anyway, the 242 MAC brush. You have to load it with concealer and follow the shape of her eyes. I get them to look ahead, draw a dot and go up around. I am now placing a Neve Pink pigment. Again, Neve Pigments, Peaches and Cream pigments, which I need to get. I'm definitely gonna to go to Liverpool and get some Peaches and Cream, just see all the colors of the pigments. Um, I'm popping that on. Pigments go over concealer and glitter goes over Ben Eye Glitter Glue. So then I popped my glitter on, which was just a silver with a small MAC brush. And now I'm doing my wings. So freehand wings, AJ will be so proud. 
I am drawing a tin line out with the tip of my brush and bringing it back in. Just drawing a little triangle and thinning it in. I know our students, it's the one thing people dread, wings and brows, isn't it? And I'm just lightly, like it's step by step. I then use my feline pencil underneath and I'm blending out with black eyeshadow. So black eyeshadow is recommended, sugar pill and urban decay, definitely. I then wiped away with a baby wipe, a step you didn't see there because I cut it, sorry guys. I wiped away with a baby wipe and then I am cleaning up with concealer. So this is the same, the NW15, just to clear up underneath and you see where I'm getting rid of all that black. Now I want to blend the black out with the colours before, what goes above the eyes goes below the eyes. So I'm blending out with Sketch first, same brush, 2 to 1, we don't want to be using millions of brushes. And then again, another 2 to 1 brush because they're small and I'm blending that out with my Melba eyeshadow. So that's my pinky tone eyeshadow. I'm applying all over my NC20 Max Studio Fix, favorite foundations ever, Max Studio Fix. I'm applying this all over her face. This is with a tiny real technique brush. I know I love a small brush. I think I'm probably the only one. I see everyone else with big huge ones. I blend it down her neck. For me, it gets in around the eye area and gets in around the brows. I'm then setting with um, powder, MAC powder. Again, any powder, cheap brands will do. Just make sure that they are talc free for flashback. I'm placing my powder all over. And then I'm coming in with my pink again, so Melba by MAC. And I'm just blending out the under eye to make sure that I'm happy with it. Contour, MAC Dark Tan, it's what we use all the time. Again, if you're a makeup artist, you want versatile products, you know, not these big, huge, crazy kits. So keep them as small as you can. Believe me, girls, when you're on location and you've three cases, it'll just drive you insane. Now, Wish Eyelashes, again, very cheap and affordable. I put a link on my Snapchat already for these. They are gorgeous, so I popped these on Caitlin. I like to do lashes last as well. And then my mascara, of course, with my mascara one, hygiene reasons, girls. I popped OMG highlighter on the cheeks with a flat concealer brush. I would not recommend this, it was absolutely shocking. I had to blend it out straight away, it just kind of stuck there. And now I'm blending with my powder brush. Lips whirl all over and NYX glitter gloss. Glitter gloss, sorry, no, NYX gloss, gloss. Not glitter gloss. Just all over a small pencil. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial today. Well, it was really done about two weeks ago, but finally edited. All our courses are starting again in February, guys. So that's the number if you want to pop us all a call. And we'll go through them all. I am back in the office tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.